a lot going on in the world today, uh, but we are going to cover these three topics. Russia shoot down U.S. missile of uh, Western Russia. Vladimir Putin says that uh, clashing with the U.S. is inevitable. All right, you guys see? Um, and uh, Burkina Faso says that we did not sell our mines to Russia. Thank you for watching. You appreciate it. I'm Bob Sankarian, and make sure um, make sure you subscribe, hit the like, share your thoughts, what you think about things I say, and thank you for watching. All right. So Russia Russia defense minister says that uh, they intercepted uh, intercepted of a Belgorod, Western Russia, four U.S. made anti radar missiles. The AGM-88 arms uh, are air to surface missiles that are designed. To destroy radar system and in august the pentagon began providing anti-radar missiles to ukraine and which were adapted to ukrainian aircraft according to us us and the ukrainians had been attacking belgorod throughout the war and on sunday uh, one person was killed and eight were wounded by the ukrainian army shelling and biden this week gave ukraine an okay to to use uh, U.S. provided weapons wherever they want. The U.S. is no longer concerned that Ukrainian attacks inside Russia, Russian territory, could lead to a major escalation of the war. Fair enough. Okay. So Putin warns that uh, the U.S. warned the U.S. that its forces are ready to clash with the U.S. because Pentagon announced that. Uh, they will increase the training of Ukraine soldiers inside Ukraine, which may force Russia to attack the U.S. military inside Ukraine. It looks like uh, we are moving toward World War III. All right? Russia is saying that they have no problem confronting U.S. forces inside Ukrainian territory because of the Pentagon's dangerous policies. Both parties uh, should, sh uh, should sit down and negotiate. All right, this is what I'm saying because this is ridiculous. We do not need another war, world war, about we respect each other and stay out of each other's business. About that, Russia should withdraw troops from inside Ukraine territory, and Ukraine should negotiate with Russia and give those separatist regions autonomies, not full independence, all right, but some degree of autonomy like China did with Inner Mongolia, Guangxi, Tibet, Ningxia, and Xinjiang, which would create a path toward peace. American actor and columnist Scott Ritter says the U.S. and Ukraine are losing the war uh, with Russia, even though the U.S. is investing and putting all in Ukraine, which is a losing bet, that the U.S. is going to lose because Russia will defeat Ukraine. And not NATO will be... Uh, Humiliate, humiliated and a, dip, a diplomatic solution is the only way to go otherwise people will die u.s providing a patriot defense system is a bad idea because it didn't work in the gulf war and didn't didn't shoot down any iraq scud missile and the patriots shot down more allied aircraft than iraqis during that war so it's obsolete in ukraine against bigger and the better prepared russian forces the same thing happened a couple of years ago in Saudi Arabia, he said, when the Patriots uh, weren't able to protect Aramco oil fields against Iranian drones the Houthis use against Saudi Arabia. He also said that even if the Patriot system is improved, they wouldn't be able to, incorporate, to be incorporated in the Ukrainian defense network. See, uh, let me tell you, this, th these people will keep uh, dying because some of arrogant and stubborn leaders which only think about themselves and are more interested in winning the argument instead of being reasonable. Zelensky is here in the U.S. trying to persuade the U.S. to give him more financial support to defeat uh, Russia. Many Americans are now questioning why. Why should the taxpayer money uh, be wasted in Ukraine war? while black people that are owed reparation still waiting to get paid. That's where I'm fair and inhuman.
Okay. According to Ghana, its president, Nana Kufuado, Burkina Faso had, um, had paid Russian mercenaries by giving them rights to gold mine. But Burkina denied this uh, allegation and saying, the, quoting, we have, no, uh, we have not granted any permit to a Russian company in Southern Burkina. Simon Bosin, Burkina's mine minister, says in his statement. And uh, he said, we also, he also said that uh, they made a list of all the exploitation and research permits for large industrial mine in the country. And so they have nothing to hide and that uh, the Ghanaian president is lying. That's what he said. Um, he says that the only Russian company that has been active in Burkina Faso for over a decade is North Gold which operates in the center region of the country. Wagner Group are present in Mali and Burkina to help them fight uh, the insurgents. And uh, it's troubling Western countries like uh, France and the US who allege that Wagner exploit mineral resources and commit human rights abuse in countries where they operate. I mean, my question is why are Ghana and the West meddling in Burkina Faso's business. Why? They are a sovereign country. Like NATO argues that Ukraine is a sovereign country. They can choose to be part of NATO uh, without, without uh, having to consult Russia. So I'm asking again, why is France interfering in Burkina Faso? Who do they, who they think they are? Are they gods? This is very disrespectful and disturbing. This is psychotic behavior, okay? From France trying to meddle in an independent country is business. Wouldn't we have a better and more peaceful world if everyone minded their own business and stop acting like they are superior to others? Come on, this is ridiculous. You guys need to leave Burkina Faso alone, all right? This is too much. Hi, I'm Bob Sankarian. Thanks for watching. And do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.